In May, tender leaves and fragrant flowers feed all kinds of insects. They make nice meals for birds. Early summer with abundance must be a good time for the newborns. The migrant Asian paradise flycatchers are ready to breed in their hometown. The retresses of the male bird are nearly four times the length of its torso, resembling delicate silk ribbons. The Asian paradise flycatcher is bestowed with the connotation of auspiciousness, promotion, and longevity. The female wears maroon plumage with retresses half the length of the males. Being unswervingly loyal to their mates, they are hailed as the protagonists of the famous Chinese story, the butterfly lovers. They usually set nests on low branches. The mattress of grasses and feathers are soft and comfortable. Cobwebs are like steel bars. Mosses are for disguise. The undergrowth is crowded with various insects, but the birds of prey are seldom seen. They usually deliver two to four eggs at a time. The couple change shifts during incubation. If everything goes well, in about 12 days, they will usher in four new lives. The Wushan Mountains stand prominently in central China. The Yangtze River slices the oddly shaped peaks and leaves them shrouded in clouds. Millions of years ago, crustal movements formed the massifs of Wushan. Deep valleys and crisscrossed rivers offer local wildlife a vast living space. At the heels of the southeast monsoon, the paradise flycatchers fly over 1,000 kilometers as their ancestors did, who always came back here to raise their offspring. The father makes the best team with its wife. One heads out hunting while the other stays with the nestlings and the fourth egg. All of a sudden, the father feels something. He seems all thumbs. Luckily, mom comes to the rescue. The fourth chick is coming. Finally, it breaks out of the shell. The mother holds what's left of her most cherished trophy. The father spreads the joy with his erected crest. They are proud of the whole family.
This is the power of love. The white couple know best what the chicks need. They shuttle in the forest. Some experience can only be gained in practice. The white paradise flycatcher feed randomly, while the mother is more meticulous. The parent checks every chick's throat before deciding the eating order. The balanced feeding is to ensure the growth of all her offspring. Her judgment is clouded occasionally. The fine throat has no room for oversized chunk of food. Handling emergencies is a crucial skill in parenting. Their digestive systems yet to fully function, most nutrients are excreted. The parents eat the feces so as not to lure enemies. All things considered, however, danger is lurking somewhere. Two big guys making noise nearby. The red-billed blue magpie has the habit of attacking chicks of other bird species. Out of a father's duty, the white bird issues the warning. Although three times the size of the paradise flycatcher, the magpie is thrilled by the determined father. And decided not to take risks for now. The father dares not to take it lightly. Having confirmed that the crisis is averted, he returned home. Relatively small in size, they have big stomachs. A paradise flycatcher family can consume a considerable number of insects in a day. Hundreds of streams and ponds make perfect nurseries for insect larvae to grow. The subtropical monsoon prevails in June. Spreading clouds amidst the valleys. Morning clouds and rain at dusk cover the mountains with a water veil. Yet too much rain could mean trouble for the paradise flycatchers. New neighbors moved in. This young female just started hatching. For reasons unknown, she missed the best time before rainy season. The husband comes back for his shift in incubation. Among male paradise flycatchers, maroon birds count for 70%, far more than white ones. The pouring rain penetrates the defense of the trees. The beautiful retresses droop down as the expectant father gets all soaked. If the nest keeps cooling down in the rain, the hatching might end up futile. For their offspring, the maroon couple has to stay put, guarding their hope with body temperature.
On the contrary, the white paradise flycatcher seems unhurried. The fledglings can regulate body temperature. They cuddle and sleep to stay warm together. No matter how strong the chicks are, mom is always worried about them. The male bird is hunting in the heavy rain with drenched retresses. But who can be more admirable than this dedicated father foraging for food in all weathers? After the rain cleared, hungry insects emerge. This is a great opportunity for hunting. They boast their ability to catch bugs, hunting at high speed with elegant moves. The white paradise flycatcher chicks open their eyes. They can devour the dragonfly effortlessly. Yet the mother always removes the wings for them. Cheering breaks, the delighted parent perches on the branches. Sometimes the couple come home together with food. The warm and peaceful reunion is well cherished. A king rat snake breaks the silence. The ferocious predator is looking for its prey. The rat snake crawls towards the nest. Danger is imminent. To distract the enemy, the female bird takes off. The white bird tries its best to lead away from the predator. The king rat snake turns a deaf ear to it. The male bird has no alternative but to lure it up close. The rat snake noticed the interference. It has locked onto the prey. The bird takes off abruptly. The predator follows suit. The rat snake has been gone for a while, but the male bird hasn't returned. The wife decided to go out looking. A single parent can't deal with hunting for food and guarding the nest at the same time. In case the father is lost, the chicks may die young. A familiar figure appears. The white paradise flycatcher makes a triumphant return in the golden sunlight. To minimize similar crisis, Asian paradise flycatchers often set home beside human communities to avoid large predators. 
the white paradise flycatcher builds the nest close to the pond. As their digestive system develops, there is fewer nutrient left in the feces. The parents drop them in the water to cover the smell. The pond is covered with sweet osmanthus petals. Built by humans, it became a resort for birds to clean themselves and take a rest. This is good for their health. Furthermore, a healthy bird colony guards the fertile field. Endemic animals have their own features. Birds in Wushan lead a cozy life. A drink, a Riverview dinner, and a relaxing bath. What more could it want? Migratory birds in summer herald a bumpy autumn. In the shallow pond, nature has a tacit agreement with human civilization. The neat paradise flycatcher rushed here to dive in the water, feeling relieved from the fatiguing parenting. The chicks of the white paradise flycatcher haven't grown much feathers around the ears. The fluffy body is very eye-catching. This is the main growing period when the chicks feel starving all the time. Such process is repeated more than 200 times a day. After the meal, the white bird stands guard in the treetop nearby. Their wings are strong. The eldest sibling can't wait to fight the wind. The fourth seems confused of the situation. The only trouble could be that it always eats too much. Once the chicks leave the nest, they never return. For the whole family, this may be the last couple of minutes together. The maroon bird has also become a father. Some of the feeble chicks haven't opened their eyes yet. The parent sets out after a short break. On the branches near the white paradise flycatchers, two furry balls are frolicking. They just got out of the nest. Seeing them being fed, the two nestlings can only envy.
The third chick nerved itself and made it out. Now there's only one left behind. The third chick is rewarded. The youngest gets cold feet. flycatcher, the world is an oyster. Having just left home, they are unable to fly long distance yet. They have to stay on the branch nearby, waiting to be fed for a few more days before they can go out hunting. A week later, the chicks experience the first rain since they left the nest. Bad weather turns down the appetite. The chicks don't seem interested in food. No matter how they turn it down, Dad always makes meals for them. The father tries everything to make them eat, to replenish and avoid hypothermia. In the heavy rain, this family witnesses the most important event. The chicks leave the nest one after another. The parents divide the chores. Father takes care of the chicks outside, while mother feeds the nestlings. The young one is ready. The unexpected taking off makes mom worry about it. It turns out to be a bumpy landing. With the chicks out of the nest, the home range expands. Frictions between neighbors are inevitable. They are very territorial, showing no mercy even for their kind. spouses came to help. The loving couples became comrades in arms. The white paradise flycatchers are defeated. The monsoon is leaving. All creatures in Wushan feel the last warmth of summer. From fragile eggs to robust chicks, the past four months have seen arduous works of the diligent parents.
the taupe juvenile plumage hides the young birds from potential danger. Now, they are able to control their wings well and fly up like their parents. The couple loses no time in tutoring the chicks. When the autumn wind rises, the birds are going to bid farewell to Wushan Mountains. They will soar through the clouds, heading for Guangdong, Guangxi, Hong Kong, and Southeast Asia. In the next spring, the Asian Paradise Flycatchers will duly return for the splendid symphony of life.